probably the hardest part of the last few years where I've dealt with all these things, like especially coming out of drinking alcohol heavily. The most powerful thing that I've learned is self-acceptance. And part of self-acceptance is just to go, this is what happened. Maybe I was a total dum-dum. Maybe I shouldn't have been drinking 12 cans of IPA every night, but I did like an idiot. What can I do from this point onwards? And that is to not do that. <laughs> it is to look after my body. And then if I can help empower anyone else to also make a change for the better in the same kind of way, then why not? Why wouldn't I? You know what I mean? Yeah. I know you had mentioned in the course, like having doing the best you can where you are and not needing to be all the way. Like having a goal, obviously, but you being grateful for where you are as you're moving toward where you desire to go. Because that inner critic will always come back in and say, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. Can you dive into that a little bit and how you moved through that? Well, that goes for creativity and addiction. Like if you're coming away from a substance or a behavior, there's always a chance you're going to fall off the wagon. And what's going to be more beneficial? Doing, beating yourself up and going 12 rounds with yourself and then feeling bad so you end up staying off the wagon and drinking more or whatever the behavior is that you're trying to get away from as your crutch or going, oh, I fell off the wagon, I'll get back on it. You know what I mean? Same thing for creativity. Like perfectionism is the, it's the Sith to the Jedi <laughs> of creativity being the Jedi and the Sith being perfectionism. Cr as much as the inner critic, well, the inner critic's a perfectionist, isn't it? Like, you'll go, oh, that's not good enough. You can do better. It's not, it's not as perfect as it could be. Things don't need to be perfect. They need to be worthwhile when it comes to creativity. And worthwhile in itself is subjective. When I was talking to Dr. Rosie Kuhn yesterday, seen, heard, and gotten, <laughs> of seen, heard, and gotten fame, <laughs> I said that um, creativity is the intersection between play and experimentation. And if you can see it from that standpoint, like there is no perfectionism in either of those things. You know what I mean? So what really sums it up nicely is what Steve Acho said to you a few guest episodes back where he quoted Tim Ferriss and said, the mediocre plan that you stick to is better than the perfect plan that you give up on and that's so true so true in terms of like my fitness journey since quitting alcohol that's been the benchmark of what I've done I set myself a standard of three days a week in the gym I set myself a goal of five days a week in the gym it averages out at four that's that's good enough for me if I can do that every week I'm going to be physically fit Am I going to look like The Rock? No. Am I aiming to look like The Rock? No. So there's also an element of intention and clarity required. Like, what are you actually trying to achieve? Because if you're like, airy fairy, I want to look like The Rock, but I'm only going to go to the gym once a month, your intention and your willingness to do the activity aren't matching. So you need to have that kind of awareness. But other than that, do as much as you can. Forgive yourself for what you can't do.